Well, last couple of days, um, I've been doing these things on Cambridge, Cambridge Editions, the Pure Cambridge Editions, um, trying to kind of get a feel of um, what exactly our Bible say, um, and a way to do that t to see how close they are to the Pure Cambridge Edition. Uh, Matthew for sure um, said that. You know, the 12 points, you know, to show scripture. 12 scriptures, actually 13. Um, and Ezra 2, was it 2, something other. Um, seen with us a Gaba or Giba. But anyway, the one I forgot besides that one, it was the uh, Matthew 26, 73. Uh, whether it was betrayest uh, or bereath. And um, so... Uh, in Matthew 26, 73, <clears throat> talking about Peter after he denied the Lord three times, it says, And after a while came unto him they that stand by and said to Peter, stood by, sorry, Surely thou art, um, also art thou one of them for thy speech bereath thee. Okay, so if you're holding on to that, that's that's a 2016 uh, Thompson Chain reference printing. Okay, now if we go to the 1964, uh, we see it says very likely the same thing, but no, it doesn't. It says, Surely thou also art one of them, for thy speech betrayeth thee. I mean, I said betrayeth, I meant betrayeth betrayeth thee, okay? Now, if I go to, that was 1964, if I go to this one, which is a 1935-ish, 6, from World Syndicate, published, World Bible Publishers is what they ended up being. It does, it says, it bereath thee. So, this older Bible, this World Syndicate, Bible says Bereath. This one, this 1964, which is about 28, 30 years after, says Betrayeth the. Okay, now my 2016 Thompson Chain Reference Bible says Bereath the. So it says the oldest one says Bereath, the middle one says Betrayest, the youngest one says Bereath. Okay, so let's just see how the word is used in context. All right, let's go back to the scripture and it says, And after a while came unto him they that stood by and said to Peter, Surely thou also art one of them, for thy speech bereath thee. Because Peter was saying, Um, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what your thou sayest, he says. And when thou he was going out into the porch, another maid saw him and said unto them, said unto them that were there, This fellow was also with Jesus of Nazareth. And again he denied an, an oath, I do not know the man. Because what happened there? His speech bereath him. It let it let everybody know yeah, that was um, Jesus, one of his followers. It kind of gave him up. It didn't betray him. That's what men do to one another. They betray. I mean, it's a more of a tactical thing to betray. It, and if you look at the word beray and betray, they both come from the same uh, time frame, the 1300s, if you do etymology on it. I just wanted to insert that because I forgot it several times. And uh, it makes a good point. That's one of the most, um, that's one of the more difficult ones for people to scratch their head over. Should that belong there? Should it not? Or is it betray or is it beret? But um, anyway, there's a difference between the two. They're very similar, the words beret and betray, but they're not quite the same, you know. Beret is what you say in speech. Betray is what you do in action. You know, kind of like a further father, you know. Jumping to bed real quick before I'm asleep before I go to work. 
but ultimately what I see is that Matthew for sure of all the pointing out he does to the uh, Cambridge the pure Cambridge edition and uh, I think uh, what I understand that church Bible publishers have uh, based on what he has said and a couple other people have said they've made their pure Cambridge um, they, they have, uh, took the pure Cambridge edition and made it to their standards as well in the, in the church Bible publishers, publishers, not local church Bible publishers, but church Bible publishers. And so there's several editions on there that you can get. If, if it's a classic edition, then you use Schofield or uh, Oxford edition. And uh, there's several types of Cambridge types, um, London, uh, it's the standard or something that I forgot. For my, Matthew for sure talks about it. I'll put, try to put the link on the video that I got the uh, information from. But I forgot though that word berayeth. So there it is right there. But um, anyway, I really don't think uh, today uh, that the pure Cambridge edition is so much of a big deal as he lets on. Uh, but I could be wrong uh, uh, regarding what Matthew Bashir says because everything that I had in my Thompson Chain Reference Bible seemed to me to be right. Where the Spirit of God should be capital S, whether it was uh, berayeth instead of betrayeth because there's slight differences in the word and you see how betray was used for, for what Judas, Judas did Beret was used for what Peter did. There's a big difference betraying Beret. Um, <clears throat> anyway, just one, like I said, I want to point this out real quick. And uh, uh, I think what we have in our most recent uh, Bibles, as far as the King James Version is concerned, the right standard of um, having the capitals where they should be having the right words where they should be. And eventually, the more we read the Bible, the more we understand and see, the words should fit together. And you should, you know, and the more you read it, you see the context of the scripture, the sentences and paragraphs and which word fits where. And the Holy Spirit's able to help you understand that. And also, you can take those words, you can look them up, look them up by etymology, and you'll see from what time period they came from you get a better understanding, you know. But anyway, I uh, hope you have a good one, and I'm going to get some sleep. Got to go work tonight. I'll take care of you.